Oh, hey, good morning. Welcome to Blizzard Learning Corner. My name is slightly younger Will Kamasa, and I'm here to talk about the basics of Socket and Apple and go over a couple problems you might run into. I am going to go ahead and sign into our at or at full app. I use Google because it's great. Um, and I'm going to go through basically how you go from unboxing the socket uh, to controlling a fixture with it. So what we do, unbox it. This is like brand new. Take our quick start guide out. We have our battery cord and socket. Go ahead, put that battery in, orange side up towards the DMX header. There are little markings on it. Now, you have to plug this thing in anytime you install a battery, just once. And then, one important thing to know is you can keep this guy plugged in if you want to keep it corded. Um, other than that, it has over eight hours of runtime on it. So now we have a blue flashing light, and that means it's sending out an SSID for you to connect to from your phone. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to turn our mobile data on because I'm going to show you a possible error that might come up for you guys. So I'm going to connect to my little socket. It turned blue here, which means I'm connected. And then we go to, we're going to go to configure and we should see my little socket on here. I'm going to go through at some point and show you guys how to connect to an SSID or your local network. You can also change ARTnet, SSCN, LTP, HTTP. You got things like mute and locate if you need to figure out which one is which. You can rename your socket. Uh, update, which I'll show you in a bit. Um, reset and reboot. And then we have our mini console. So this is how you're going to be able to control uh, DMX values from the socket. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this guy into our hotbox RGBA, which is at channel 1. So I'm going to do one at one at full, which will turn our dimmer on to 100%, and I'm going to go two at full, which will give us a red light. We can go ahead and change that. Red rum will cancel out the command, so you can do one or let's do three at full now. We got a nice yellow. Double red rum will black out the fixture. Let's say I wanted uh, a white light, I could do one through four at full give me the red. This will show you what DMX values you have. So if I did full at full, we got all 255 values up. We can also change the current universe. So double tap that red rum. There we go, we'll get us back to a clear light or black light. So that's what we have here um, for this little bit. And now I'm going to show you how the button works. All right, so here's the button menu. Your XLR tab is the actual button on this socket. And a couple things to show you real quick is if you double tap, you will see the battery level. Um, it will flash one to five times, five being full, one being not full, you should probably plug it in. You can tap to go back or it will time back out. This is your idle menu. Um, when it's flashing blue, it's waiting to connect to a phone, or your phone is waiting to connect to it. Uh, green means Wi-Fi, SSID. Um, so I can go ahead and actually scroll through three different menu options here, and that's your green, purple, and red. Green will connect you to an SSID, which should be stored in here from your Atful app. Purple will reset the device or reboot it, and then red will factory reset the device. And to do any of these things, let's say we want to put it into Wi-Fi mode, I hold until it flashes, and I hold again to confirm it will turn white, and now it's in Wi-Fi. But we don't want that yet, so I'm gonna go back, change it to AP mode, which is where it puts out an SSID that you can connect to, to your phone. Um, if we want to reboot it, we just hold until it turns white. It gives us a nice little reboot color. And we're back in it. If we want a factory reset, we go to red, hold, hold again until it turns red. Again, if you saved your SSID or changed the name of this thing, that will erase it going back to factory defaults. To turn off the socket, you do five quick taps. It will fade to red like the sun setting, and then to turn it back on, you're going to hold it, 
and it's going to fade to whatever your idle color is here and that's how you turn it on and off. That's uh, the button thing for the, the socket. Alright, last little thing to mention and hopefully we get this to come up here. Um, we are connected one on one and we can send this guy commands one at full and you won't I mean obviously it's not connected to anything but what we're waiting for is my phone to complain that it's not finding a Wi-Fi signal from this guy because it's not actually connected to the internet it's just connected to your guy and what your phone might try to do is say hey we don't see internet can we use your mobile data if that happens um, you might need to turn off your mobile data to get this guy to cooperate uh, and easy way to do that, at least on iPhone, is go here, just turn off your mobile data. It's very similar on an Android, you'll find something similar. That's just one thing to kind of keep in mind. If something's not sending a signal, check your mobile data. <clears throat> All right, we're connected to our SSID. We're going to update this bad boy. Press update, it is up to date, but we're going to force it anyway. So now it's aggressively flashing white and this number is aggressively reaching 100%. This may take a couple times to try to actually flash it. Unfortunately, firmware is a finicky thing. Um, if you do need to restart it, just go back, um, restart the, the physical socket device. You may need to restart the app, but you will eventually get it. Finish update, hoorah. You will lose your user settings, unfortunately, uh, but we should only be updating this guy ever so slightly. So there you go. We have the newest version of the firmware on the socket. So now you guys know the basics of socket and at full. One last little note for you guys, this is built off of open protocols, SACN and ArtNet, so anything that sends out those commands can be received by the socket. We do keep pushing updates to at full, so we are coming out with new and exciting feature sets just for you guys. My name is slightly younger Will Kamasa. Thank you so much for joining us on Blizzard Learning Corner. We'll catch you next time.